Want to host your website for free forever? In this video, I'll show you how to get both free hosting and a free domain. Something I wish I knew when I was starting out. We shall walk through hosting a custom HTML, CSS and JavaScript website. But don't worry, if you are using other technologies like Node, Django or Laravel, this method works for those too. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your site live on the internet without spending a single penny. Back in the days when I couldn't afford a domain and hosting, I tried a lot of free website over the internet to find a free way that provide me hosting and domain. But after spending a lot of time, I have come across a free website that provides me a domain and hosting for free. I respect your financial situation and your precious time. This video is exactly for you. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. If you want to host your website, you must have a GitHub account. I want to mention that we are not hosting our website on GitHub, but you find it helpful as you will go further in the video. It is so simple. Go to github.com and create one for yourself. The platform that we are using today is versal.com. It is 100% free for unlimited time and it provides you with both domain name and hosting. This video is not sponsored by Versal, which is itself true if you look at my subscriber count. Anyway, go to versal.com. The link is in the description. When you open the website for the first time, it will look like this. To create a new account, click on the sign up button in the top right corner. You will be sent to this page. Here, select the plan type as hobby. As you click on hobby, it will ask you to enter your name. Here, enter your name and click on continue. You will be sent to this page. Here, select continue with GitHub. Make sure your GitHub account is already logged into your browser. As I have logged into my GitHub account, it makes the account creation process very easy for you. Now, as you click on continue with GitHub, it will authenticate your GitHub account. And once it is done with the authentication, it will send you to this page where you have to enter your mobile number. Make sure to enter the phone number that you are currently using because it will send you a verification code on the given phone number. Here, I will enter the phone number that I am currently using. Then I'll click on continue. On the next page, it will ask you to enter verification code that you have received on the previously given number. So I have received a code on my given number. Enter the code and click on verify and done. After you have done with creating your Versal account, you will be sent to this page with this kind of interface. Here you can see your all GitHub repos. If for any reason you haven't been promoted to this page, just click on your profile icon. A drop down menu will appear. Here, click on the dashboard option and you will be sent to this page. Click on this add new button and it will show you a drop down menu with different options. Simply click on project and finally you are on the target page where we can start the hosting process of our website. I am going to host this simple website that I have made for color collection using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now go to GitHub. Click on your GitHub profile icon, select your repositories and then you will be sent to this page. Here click on this blue button with the title new to create a new GitHub repo. Here it will ask you to enter a name for the new repo. I will enter color collection and then leave the visibility option to the public. Scroll down a little and click on create repository and it will create a new repo. Now you have to click on upload an existing file to upload your website code into this repo. But here is a quick disclaimer. The name of the home page of your website must be index.html. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. After clicking on upload on existing file, you will be sent to this page. Here, simply drag and drop all the source files of your website. You have noticed here, our website homepage name is index.html and it is not stored in another folder. We upload it to our repo or in other words, it is directly child to our main repository. You might be wondering about these two files. 
they are just the font styles that I have used on our website. Now click on commit changes and your files will be successfully uploaded to GitHub repo. Now the last step, go back to Vercel.com and reload this page to get the information about the recently uploaded repository. As you reload the page, you will see it fetches our recently created repos. Now just click on the black import button against our color collection repo or whatever the name in your case. Then it will ask you to enter the project name. Make sure there is no space in your project name. After entering the project name, click on the big deploy button. And boom, you are done. To view your website live, click on continue to dashboard. Here under the domains, click on this link. And voila, I have the same website that was previously on my local hard drive, but now it's live on this domain name. The link to this website is in the description. You can also use my color collection. It is a gift for you. If you have any question or need help, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to assist you. Thank you for watching and happy coding. Until next time, keep building and keep learning.